It's time for my first official OBGYN Reacts video, and this one is to a YouTube video about helping your period to come sooner. Let's see what I have to say. Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm board certified OBGYN, Dr. Jennifer Lincoln. I am the host of this channel. It is the health class you wish you had in high school. If you are not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Turn on the bell so you never miss an upload and follow me at Dr. Jennifer Lincoln on my other socials where I'm having fun all week long. All right, I saw this YouTube video when I saw in my search terms that people were looking up how to make your period come faster. And I found this video and I want to react to it. The goal of this video is not to direct any hate towards this creator whatsoever, but I think it's important that we acknowledge something, that this creator has over one and a half million subscribers, which obviously means that her subscribers love her. But this video, which is from 2016, has four million views and over 11,000 comments. I know I see especially what happens every day when misinformation is out there. And unfortunately that's what most of this video is and it's not harmless. So this is not to say, you you know, oh my goodness, she's the worst. But I truly think it's a just an opportunity to show that this is how misinformation can go viral and how things can get perpetuated. And if you are a young person or trying to figure out your period, you go onto YouTube, this video pops up and you think it's legit, then you're gonna be led astray. And that just kind of stinks, especially in schools where we don't have good sex education. Heck, even in Florida, they're trying to outlaw talking about periods before the sixth grade. So this is why it's so important to get it right. I will say first things first, when you look at this video, it's important to know who's making this content and are they experts or are they not? And she's not. And there's also no references because the first thing I did is, wow, okay, if she thinks all these things are true, well, let me go see what her references are. And there aren't any. So let's dive in. I feel like it's really inconvenient when you have an irregular period, when your period is not every 28 days and like some months you get it and some months you don't. And I feel like it's good to just plan accordingly. Like if you have PE class or if you have a pool party or something like that. So the first thing she says is, you know, helping your period to come faster so you get it over with more quickly if you've got irregular periods or you're planning for an event like a pool party. And I get that wanting to like schedule your period out. The problem is, is that if you've got your regular periods and you're not actually getting treatment or an evaluation for it to figure out what's going on and you're just trying to self-treat, that could be bad. That could eventually put you at risk for things like undiagnosed fertility issues and other things like PCOS. And if this goes on for a long time, it could put you at higher risk for things like cancer of the uterus. I don't want that for you. So please, please, please don't try and self-treat your regular periods. And I've got a video on period signs, what's not normal, when you should, you know, get things checked out right up here. And yes, it's evidence-based and I'm an expert, so it's all good. Let's have a listen to what her first hack is to bring your period on more quickly. The first way is to drink tropical juices. And this could be like orange juice, pineapple juice, papaya juice, mango juice. And this is kind of a home remedy. And orange juice does have vitamin C in it, which is really good for you. But a lot of these tropical juices, what they do is they actually cause your temperature to rise. And this actually triggers menstruation. So that's why tropical juices can kind of help you get your period faster. So that's not true. Drinking a glass of orange juice or papaya juice is not gonna make your temperature rise and trigger a menstruation. And I think actually she's misunderstanding the menstrual cycle a little bit here because what happens when we're tracking your cycle, and you can see here when a certain hormone goes up called LH or luteinizing hormone, that surge happens and that triggers ovulation or the release of an egg. And after that, what's left behind in the little follicle where the egg was, its little house, it makes a hormone progesterone that can make your body temperature go up a little bit. So what I'm saying is, is that the temperature rise happens after you've released an egg and you need that egg to be released and then you don't get pregnant for you to get that period. So she's got it a little backwards here. Now there are some theories that these juices that have vitamin C, vitamin C can act like progesterone, which could then be associated with this temperature rise, but it's not borne out in any sort of scientific studies. It's, it's just not proven. The other thing too that you might see if you're Googling this is that pineapple juice has a compound in it called bromelain, which can affect estrogen. And the idea is that that also could bring on your period. But again, there's no strong evidence to show that this works. Is it harmful to drink juice? No, not if you're having like a glass here and there, but there's a ton of sugar in it. And so if you're just like downing gallons and gallons of juice to bring your period on, that's not good for you in the long term. Okay, let's see what she suggests for number two. Another thing you could drink is herbal tea. And this could be like parsley tea, ginger tea, herbal tea 
tea, things like that, sage tea, um, rosemary tea, and I personally prefer ginger just because I think it's the best tasting and you can add like honey and lemon to it. If you drink at least two cups a day, then it's supposed to stimulate like your blood flow down to your pelvis area and kind of help menstruation come faster. Okay. Lots of thoughts out there on teas and herbal products that can help bring your period on. We know that lots of people have been self-managing abortion using certain, certain of these herbal products and teas for a long time. When it comes to bringing on your, your regular period, while there's no strong data to support it in terms of, you know, regulated good studies here in Western medicine, you may hear anecdotal evidence elsewhere. But I caution you against this because if you don't know why your period is irregular or you're just downing a ton of tea, you could also have side effects. Cool thing, the compounds that bring on your period are called aminagogues, and I like that. So we have more of this information outside of Western medicine, and I'm not saying that some of these herbs aren't used for those purposes and may cause that bleeding, but if you're trying to regulate your period, there's lots better ways to do it, and I'm gonna talk about that at the end of this video. Okay, let's move on to her tip number three. This next one is kind of a cool phenomenon called menstrual synchrony and it's when you hang out with other women and you guys have periods at the same time because your bodies kind of naturally and instinctually sync up with each other and that's why you guys get your periods at the same time. Unfortunately, that's also false. That's a myth. There was old data that showed that that was true. And in that study, we realized that it was not done well. And subsequent studies since then have showed that it's completely false. So this idea that like, if you hang out with people that you're all gonna get your period at the same time, it's not true. I wish it was, it'd be really fun, but it's not true. Okay, technique number four she has for bringing on your period. I think maybe this one was maybe my favorite. <laughs> So another way is to actually heat up your body, taking a 30 minute bath a few days in a row when you're trying to get your period is really good to help stimulate it. Also um, getting like a heat pad or some sort of heat pack on your stomach, on your lower abdomen area. And you could also drink like lukewarm water or tea instead of like cold or like icy water. So that's also not true. And I think it's the same misunderstanding with the temperature. I don't know, like, are you supposed to then heat up your orange juice too? If you're drinking the orange juice and then you're in the hot tub, like it's the same thing. It's, it's a bit backwards and it's not true. But if you love a bath, go for a bath, but don't think that you need to sit in the bath drink a ton of hot water and then also tea, like, okay, let's talk about the last thing that she suggests here. So if your period is seriously irregular and like, the things I already mentioned aren't really working, then it's best to see a doctor. And oftentimes a doctor will actually prescribe birth control for you to make your periods regular. And it actually regulates your hormones and the levels of estrogen in your body. So even if you're not like having sex or anything like that, a lot of um, girls will still go on birth control just. So she's right there. And I know if you're thinking, see, doctors just wanna put you on birth control. I know some do, but no, that's not the point. The point is, is that if you've had an evaluation and we realize nothing else is going on and maybe you're in those first few years where your periods are all crazy because your body's still getting used to having a period, which is normal, it can still be really annoying and disruptive if you don't know when your period is coming. And so using birth control to regulate your period and to know when it's coming or to get rid of it completely is an evidence-based way that you can do it. And I know you're gonna talk about side effects and concerns about that, but I do want you to know that it's one of our most well-studied medications. Of course, there's side effects risks, but there's also a ton of benefits. And another thing that she didn't bring up, but I think I would like to reframe this as instead of trying to bring your period on faster, which you can't do, you can delay or stop your period. And I have a whole video up here about how to do it how to do it safely, how it works. And so that's all based in data. And I just think it's an important thing to know. So that said, what did you think about these techniques? What are some things that you've heard before? Remember, none of this video is to throw any shade on her. It's just important to know that we have to base our recommendations in science because when we have a platform and we use it, we have to make sure we're not making people more confused than less. So I've got references and resources in my show notes. Go ahead and drop comments and let me know what you think. Happy menstruating or happy not menstruating, whatever you want for you. All right, bye-bye.